Okay, right, this is uh, this job here is a job that had an intermittent fault for uh, quite a long period of time. Uh, it's pretty odd. So what would happen, the boiler would light up, this for a hot water demand, it would light up fine, and then suddenly it would just lose all power to the pump and stop firing. Um, so I've looped this clip so you can see this in action again. Um, so here you go, boiler lights and is running fine. Um, and there you go, it suddenly clicks off, the pump stops running, uh, fan stops running, boiler stops firing. Um, so what I tried to do is recreate the issue here. Um, uh, that was hard enough. Uh, then I have an idea what it is, but me and the engineer are, we're not. Um, we're not agreeing. So we're just discussing how I want to proceed with trying to diagnose this. I think it's the NTCs at this point. Uh, but every time we pull the wire off and test it with the multimeter that's sitting on the boiler there, uh, they come back fine. Uh, but but even when the boiler's at full and going off it will come back on within a few seconds. So the fault is never present for more than, you know, maybe two or three seconds at a time. Um, so then I decide to try and recreate the fault, which is what I do here. Um, I pull off that lead, and you can see that this the, the engineer's neon, but you can see the, the neon's gone off to the pump. If I plug that back on, it doesn't matter which NTC you do this with. So plug it back on, pump starts running again, pull it off, pump stops running. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's the NTCs. Engineer's not sure, we can't ever test them and find them at fault. Um, so this is how I deal with this situation. Uh, this is a tip I was never ever gonna tell anyone to be honest, because it's something I worked out for myself and took me a long time. So one last time, this is the fault in action. Boiler lights, starts running fine and uh, suddenly just drops out. The demand is still there, the little red, uh, red neon is on on the flow sensor. And this is what I do to, uh, to test it. I just get a clip on NTC of any boiler that clips on. Um, and it's got to be the same range, so 10 to 12K on this boiler at 20 degrees, which is what most of them are like. Uh, and all I do is put a bit of wire. On, up, the ones I have, I have these already set up on my van. Um, and I've got wire soldered to it and it's about a foot and a half long and uh, all I ever do is push it into the, uh, the NTC plugs and clip it on the pipes in the relevant place so it's reading in the right place roughly and it, it's a perfect way to test them especially when it's intermittent like this you obviously never leave it like this but this is while you're there trying to test it this is what you do And with this done like this, this boiler ran perfectly, provided plenty of hot water, never went off once. Um, so we replaced both NTCs and it was done. So that's an easy little thing to uh, make up yourself and have on the van. Um, sorry about the video quality here, it was um, it was quite late in the day, and just trying to get things done and get home basically to watch the football. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching.